Are you looking for aesthetic videos on how to declutter clothes and create a beautiful and stylish minimalist wardrobe? Then you have come to the wrong place, my friend. But if you're looking for help on how to declutter clothes and create a minimalist wardrobe that's authentic to you and not some cookie cutter version of what people think minimalism is supposed to look like, then stick around because I'm going to reveal the secrets behind my minimalist wardrobe. What's up fam and welcome back to the channel. My name is Marissa and I'm a minimalist mom who six years ago started a decluttering journey that ended up with me getting rid of about 95% of my wardrobe. And that included not only clothing, but also things like shoes, accessories, coats, purses, and more. But along with that initial declutter, I also became more intentional with my shopping and buying habits habits to the point where I've noticed now that I've been decluttering around four times more clothing items than I've been buying. So at this point, it's now been about a year and a half since I did a big wardrobe decluttering video. And since that time, a couple things have changed. And even though at this point now I've decluttered around 95% of my original wardrobe, I am ready to today declutter clothes again. So today I want to walk you through all the things I've decluttered, what items I've purchased or swapped out, and give you a few updates and tips so that you can walk away with a better idea of how to declutter your own clothes and create an authentic minimalist style for yourself. And if any of this sounds good to you, I would love it if you would hit that like button and go down and drop me a comment in the comment section below with a door emoji if you are on your own decluttering or minimalism journey. And let's dive in. How much clothing have I decluttered? What I want to do first is kind of walk you through everything that I've decluttered since our initial big declutter in 2019 and our subsequent move to Europe. Now, something to know about me is that I have a year round four season capsule wardrobe because we live in Germany and the temperatures here can fluctuate a lot. And sometimes I kind of need to share clothing across seasons. So going back to the clothes I decluttered before, as far as tops and dresses, I decluttered a total of nine items in this category. That included some cute dresses that were kind of like fantasy self items that I wasn't really comfortable in because they didn't fit my style. And as well as some old t-shirts that I literally wore until they got holes in them. And then there was a sentimental old sweatshirt that was from my first job out of college that was a little bit tough to part with, but I found that I was just preferring to wear the zip up hoodie that I stole. Um, I mean, was gifted by my husband. I do want to mention really quick that as someone who tries to really shop less and save money and be more sustainable, primarily by buying less, it's not always necessary to declutter items, but sometimes all they need to do is be tweaked or mended a little bit, and then they can become something that you love and enjoy wearing again. For example, in my Simplify Your Wardrobe video, I showed you my anthropology bird dress that didn't fit me anymore because I had lost the meager boobage that I ever had after pregnancy and breastfeeding. And a lot of you have been asking me for an update on that dress, and I'm happy to say that I was able to find a seamstress who turned that dress into a skirt for me. So for $15 and a small sewing tweak, I was able to salvage a dress that I had once adored and turned it into a practical and comfortable new item that fit my current body wardrobe and style. On to the bottom and skirts category. In this category, I got rid of four items. There was a pair of green pants that were just a little too tight in the lower leg area after I gained some weight and some pleather moto pants that made me sweat like a fiend when I wore them. And another fantasy self item that I initially was trying to hold onto but ended up letting go of was a cute pencil skirt that was honestly adorable, but I never wore because nowadays what I find is that I always prefer to go for my cozy green linen skirt and a relaxed and loose fitted style. In the shoe category, I got rid of four items as well. I was unfortunately not able to find someone to fix the heels on my leather booties, so I got rid of those as well as my extremely worn out sneakers and some other shoes. So I am definitely looking out for some new shoes soon. As far as workout gear, accessories, and outerwear, I got rid of three workout items and decluttered some broken accessories like my Fitbit and sunglasses 
and swapped out my too short winter coat for a warmer and much more practical long coat. And we did get rid of a bunch of scarves, but decided to keep two of them and give one each to one of the boys. So now they have their own scarf as well. So all in all, between those three categories, that was a total of 11 items decluttered. So all together, all of those items add up to a grand total of 28 pieces of clothing, accessories, and other wardrobe related items that I have decluttered from my minimalist wardrobe. So now let's move on to how much new clothing have I purchased. So on February 5th of 2021, I made a video called 10 things I'm not buying in 2021. And I'm happy to say that I stuck to the resolution that I made in that video, which was to not buy any workout clothing for the entirety of 2021 until I could prove to myself that I was actually committed to going to the gym and working out. I have to say, I think that it really helped a lot that my husband also joined the same gym and we would go together. And so whenever I was feeling lazy, I had him to kind of motivate me and cheer me on and get me out the door and get going even when it's cold outside and I really, really didn't want to. So after one year of being pretty decently committed to working out on January 6th of 2020, I went shopping with my husband and I bought some new workout clothes. I got one new pair of black workout leggings and a new green sports bra. And at that time, I also got a black striped long sleeve shirt, a beige hoodie sweatshirt, and a long beige cardigan. And I bought a second sports bra to replace my other sleeping bra and it is so comfortable. And as I mentioned before, I swapped out my worn out and too short dark green winter coat for a lighter green and longer winter coat, which is much more practical for me with all of the walking around that I do in the very cold German winters. So all in all, what that means is I have purchased a grand total of seven new items in the past three years, 28 items out, seven items in. And there's only one item that I kind of regret buying, which is this mint green knit sweater that I was ironically wearing in my last video titled Less is More. But even though I absolutely hate this sweater and I hate how I look in it, I'm not gonna be getting rid of it and I'm gonna tell you why. It was something that I purchased after a long day of clothing shopping with my kids. They were tired, I was tired, but I really needed a sweater for home because I was freezing my butt off. Because as it turns out, if you live in a drafty 100 year old European home with really high ceilings, it can get pretty cold in the winter and difficult to heat. So I literally grabbed this off the shelf because I was like, oh, that color looks so pretty and blue usually looks good on me. So surely this will look good on me, right? No. And it is definitely warm and it's definitely comfortable. So although I hate the way that I look in it, I don't like the puffy sleeves and I don't like how short it is. I do still like wearing it at home just because it keeps me warm. Just the fact that I can throw it on when I'm cold or I want to eat a bowl of pasta without worrying about the splash factor of red sauce. Even though this item doesn't like spark joy, it still does the job that I bought it to do. So the lesson to take away here is it's okay to keep things that don't make you happy per se, but that are useful and serve a practical function in your day-to-day -day life. So that brings us to today. And here we are in front of my wardrobe again, where I'm going to be doing yet another full wardrobe declutter. So let's go ahead and dig into my wardrobe and take everything out where we can see it, arrange it into some categories. I'll let you see exactly what I have, and then we can start going through things and decluttering them. Let's dive in. Okay, so now my wardrobe is empty. Normally I wouldn't lay things on the floor, but I wanted you guys to be able to see the kind of different categories from my closet very clearly. So I've kind of laid them out so that we can take a really clear look. What I like to do when I'm decluttering clothing is start with the season that I'm just finishing up. So we are just finishing up winter here. And I know that if I didn't wear something 
pretty much the entire winter, I'm probably not going to use it the next winter either. So at that point, I am ready to get rid of those items. So first, I'm gonna start by pulling out my favorites, putting them back, and then I'm gonna show you what I don't want. So these two items are two of my favorite shirts. This I can wear with pants, I can wear it with shorts, I can wear it underneath skirts, and it's a very versatile piece. I like that the sleeves can be rolled up. This piece is also a really good color for me. I like wearing it on top of tank tops. Sometimes I'll wear maxi dresses and I will put it on top and tie it around the middle so that if I'm a little cool, I can still wear the dress and be comfortable and have my shoulders covered. So these are two favorites and they are at this point going to go back in the wardrobe. But an item that I know that I'm ready to get rid of is this piece. I find that when I need long sleeves, it's so thin, the material is so thin, it doesn't really keep me warm. It's a very thin kind of crepey fabric. I haven't worn this a single time since I celebrated my anniversary with my husband. And even then I was a little chilly and I didn't enjoy wearing it. So this is going to go. So now we are on to the sweatshirts category. And in this category, I don't think that I have anything that I want to get rid of from these pieces. You guys always give me tons of compliments on my Fox shirt. And I think that this just goes to prove that there are minimalists out there who wear colors and patterns and can still have fun with their wardrobe. I have pretty much worn this since I purchased it like the rest of the winter until now. I really love this hoodie sweatshirt. So this is a keeper. I hear we have a serviceman here. I might need to shut this off for a second. These are all keepers. Keep, 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 keep. They're coming. I just also want to mention that I like to hang them in rainbow order from like light and color to dark going back. I think I need to shut off the thing now. Hold on a second. Uh, that was an unexpected interruption, but I'm glad that it happened because that just goes to show you that in life, things are gonna happen interruptions are going to happen. There's going to be unexpected things that pop up and interrupt your decluttering process and slow down or break your momentum. But the most important thing is to just keep going. Do not let slip ups or interruptions or unexpected events keep you from continuing your decluttering process. So my mother-in-law apparently dropped this off this morning when I was in the bedroom recording for the wardrobe declutter and it's like a pesto made of wild onions and some other things and she dropped off three of these and we're gonna try them on our quesadillas so this is why it's awesome to live next to your mother-in-law or at least my mother-in-law mm. let's see how it is this oh yeah try it my mom made this you know i know fresh from the forest uh -huh. very nice it's addictive right mm. Okay, so the servicemen just left and they were here to swap out the meters on our water and our uh, heating system. So I literally just shoved everything into the wardrobe when they were here because I didn't want these guys like seeing all my clothes laying out. So we're gonna dig those out of the closet. What a mess. There went my plans to do like a really neat and tidy demonstration where I could just like show you everything laid out in categories beautifully. It's now in a lump in my closet, but we're just gonna keep on rolling with it and I'm still gonna continue decluttering and showing you what I'm doing. Okay, so now we are in the dresses category. And as you can see, I don't just have like neutral dresses or black and white dresses. I have dresses of all different colors and shapes. So this one is actually like 15 years old and I like it in the summer because we don't have air conditioning and when it gets really, really hot, I put this on and it's like my coolest dress. Cool, cool as in and cold, cold, not cool, not cool as, as in as fashionable. fashionable. So this one is a keeper. I love it. Sometimes I wear it as a skirt with something else on top too. This dress I wear for Christmas. This is a keeper. I'll fix the order in a little bit. This dress I adore. It's a maxi dress. That's a wrap dress and it like, when you twirl, it just flies out and it looks so nice and it's so comfortable. This is a jersey fabric, which I love. It's so easy to care for and wash. This is a keeper. Now this dress is one that I am ready to get rid of because I have just found that I do not really care for having black clothing. I know that's like so not minimalist. And I just don't reach for this maxi dress. If I wanted to wear a maxi dress, I would probably wear the jersey one, the wrap that I just showed you, or 
I have a dark blue one that is long. I have a red one, also really good. It's like a high-low uh, in the front and in the back. So I would always go for these instead of trying to go for this. So I am at this point now ready to say goodbye to this and keep these. This is actually a maternity dress. I've had it for 10 years since I was pregnant with Guka, but I have continued to use it after my pregnancy, obviously. I love it, you guys love it. I get tons of compliments on it. That just goes to show you, you can pick maternity clothes that last a long time. This is my linen dress. I'm loving linen fabrics. Like I said, in the summer when we don't have air conditioning, linen is really breathable and light and it helps keep me cool. And in the winter, I can still wear it because I put leggings underneath and a camisole on top. So this is a keeper. And then this is my denim pinafore dress that you guys have seen me wearing many, many times. I always get compliments on this as well. This is like seven years old. Uh, I know some people have found it on secondhand websites. It's a Target denim pinafore if you're interested. By the way, I don't know if you notice here, but I keep a bag in my closet when things are like worn out beyond repair, then they go in this bag for textile recycling. So it's got some of Dee Dee's worn out clothes in there now. If there was anything that was like not in good enough condition to donate or sell, it would either be trashed or recycled. And that's what that is. It's a nice little hack to have a bag like that hanging in your wardrobe. And this is a light unique low vest that sometimes I unfurl. It's like a feather, a down feather vest that I like to layer in the cold weather. So now we are into the jacket section and I think that you're going to find that there's quite a few pieces in here that I'm going to be wanting to get rid of. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts. It's a hoodie that I got from my husband. This is a keeper. <sighs> this is also from my husband, but I don't like this. It's gotten really like loose and worn out and it just never fit me quite right. I have just found myself not reaching for it anymore and I knew I wanted to get rid of it, so that's why I had purchased this one. This color is just so much better for me compared to this color. This is just too harsh for my skin tone. So this one is going. Wow, considering I already had a pretty minimalist wardrobe, we've already gotten rid of quite a few pieces, haven't we? So there are the hangers. This is what's left. Let's see what else we're gonna get rid of. So this one I've had since I graduated college and it's like my dress up jacket. And anytime I would need to do a fancy event, like if I was invited to speak somewhere, I would probably wear this and like an a nice pair of jeans and a white shirt underneath. So this is a keeper. Both of these are going to go. This one has literally gotten so worn out that there's holes in it. I don't know if you can tell, but it's gotten like completely see-through from all of the wear. And there's now holes aplenty in this. So this is not something that I could sell or donate. This is going to be textile recycled. So that's actually going into the basket in here. And then the other jacket is also not fit for donation because it's so worn out. It's just started to lose its shape and gotten holes everywhere. So this is something that I have a lot of emotional attachment to. My very best friend and I got this, the same jacket like 20 years ago in Indiana, but it's just gotten to the point where it's worn out and falling apart and I'm ready to let it go. So this is something that I'm gonna say thank you so much for being such a big part of my life. Thank you for the memories and goodbye. These next pieces, as I'm looking here, I can tell that these are all some of my favorite pieces. I wear this all the time still too. My Pink Floyd that I get so many compliments on on this channel. So all of these items are keepers and are going back in the closet. Now we have three skirts here and two jumpers. And honestly, I thought I would never get rid of this skirt, but I'm just finding that I don't wear it anymore. I do still love this skirt and that's my absolute favorite skirt, but this one is going to go. And honestly, I think that it's probably important for me to say right now that another consideration for me is that I've also gained weight. So previously when I had done decluttering videos, I was weighing around 120 pounds. Now I'm up to around 130. I am someone who has struggled with binge eating in the past and as a former binge eater, I will never ever diet because kind of like a really dangerous slippery slope for me. So I'm totally comfortable with the weight that I'm at now. I think just hitting 40 and my metabolism is slowing down. I'm just noticing that 
I am a little bit heavier than I used to be, but this skirt just does not fit comfortably anymore, especially if I eat, it gets like uncomfortably tight and I love to eat. So I am going to be looking for a different skirt to swap out for this skirt, but this skirt is just gorgeous. I mean, the fabric is gorgeous and I'm sure that somebody will be really happy to take this off my hands in a buy nothing group. I'm just finding now that like in this stage of my life, I'm really gravitating towards loose, comfortable, non-form fitting clothes. And then if my weight fluctuates up and down a little bit, which it has a tendency to do, that's totally fine. I can just like loosen it up a little bit. Here is everything that's left after getting rid of the unwanted items from inside of my closet. Those are the things that we are getting rid of. And then now what I want to do is I want to go through the drawers, but I gotta get my kids from school soon because that interruption. So I'm going to not talk about this as much, but try to go through it really, really quickly. This is one of those times where you almost run into the problem of just having too much space in your drawers. So you can see I shuffled things around a little bit. So now shorts are over here, the bulkier pants are here, and t-shirts, sleep shirts, and whatnot are here. So much more space. And this is what we got rid of. So we got rid of a t-shirt that was from a blogging conference that I'm ready to let go of, some old workout pants that are almost completely worn through, some shorts that are just too shorty shorty for me anymore, some navy shorts that don't really fit me and are super worn, and a sleep bra that is basically totally worn out. So there we go. These are all of the things. Okay, so now that the decluttering is done, where do we stand? Today, I got rid of a total of 11 items from inside of my wardrobe and the drawer, which means that all in all, in the past three years, I've had a total of 39 items go out from my wardrobe and brought in a total of only seven, two of which were sports bras. So we are going to be looking for some new items to add to the wardrobe. And what I like to do is use the 30 day rule for minimalist shopping. And what that means is basically you just write something down and think about it for a period of time. Most people think about it for 30 days. For me, I'm usually just slow and I like to take a little bit longer, but I've already found some really beautiful items that I want to add to my wardrobe. I'm gonna get those ordered soon. So if you want to see the new things that I'm getting and what I still have in more detail, drop me a comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and maybe consider going down and hitting the little red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and join our minimalist family because I would love to have you around again soon. If you want to know a little bit more detail about the process that I use to declutter my wardrobe, make sure to go check out one of these videos and I'll see you again next week. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.